Hello and welcome to ILTV's Evening Update. I'm Natasha Kirchuk here with the latest news from Israel. Israelis living near the Gaza border are saying they can hear Hamas digging tunnels directly under their houses. The head of the Eshkol Regional Council claims that residents of the area have been complaining about the noise for weeks, insisting the digging is close enough to make their floors shake. The IDF destroyed 30 tunnels during Operation Protective Edge and has promised to build protective guards around the area. The NGO Im Tirtsu has been slammed for its new campaign, which labels famous Israeli artists as foreign agents for their connections to left-wing groups. Opposition leader Isaac Herzog claims that the NGO is practicing Israeli McCarthyism and is trying to take control of Israel. The campaign specifically attacks artists like Amos Oz, Gila Almagor, and Chanan Street for being members of left-wing groups. It comes directly after Minister Miri Regev's proposed loyalty bill, which aims to cut off government funding for cultural institutions inciting against Israel. The Israeli government is set to vote on creating a gender-mixed area at the Western Wall, where non-Orthodox Jews can come together. The egalitarian area would be located in the plaza's southernmost corner underneath the Robinson's Arch. The cabinet reportedly wants to come to an agreement about the issue before the new Israeli Attorney General is appointed. As long as ultra-Orthodox parties do not oppose the new proposal, the gender-mixed area is set to pass. The Israeli company WaterGen is solving the age-old question of how to provide clean drinking water for the world. The company's revolutionary technology turns excess humidity in the air into clean drinking water. The invention is called Jenny and it can produce up to 20 liters of clean drinking water per day. WaterGen's technology is already used in India, Central America, Africa and China. Plus, the company was even ranked number 21 in Fast Magazine's list of the world's 50 most innovative companies in 2014. That's all for now. Stay tuned on ILTV.TV for our main daily broadcast playing after this. I'm Natasha Kirchuk and see you Sunday with our full morning briefing from Israel at 7 a.m. Eastern Time.